You ready to dive? I'm ready to dive. Let's go. Ready guys? So you got a posh tent so you can see what's going on. See I'm short so I always... <laughs> she has to come in. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode. We're at Cape and Ray with Andy, UK diver. Hello people, how are you? Alright. And Andy is going to be taking us to dive what today? Uh, well, I thought we'd go down and go through the plane. Uh, then we'll probably go over to the container, um, which looks more like a sieve now. And then we'll go over and probably do the pod snap. I think that's probably 40 minute dive in six degrees is probably enough in it, guys. That sounds about right. I yeah. think so. Yeah, so let's jump in and let's go see how that looks. Should be fun. See ya. She likes that. Bye. <laughs> Feeling good? As we drop down and start heading to the airplane, you can see how murky the conditions were. Now, it's not always this murky. I was really surprised it was this dark, but all she can see is how much the GoPro is struggling in the cold. You'll see this throughout the video. It's going green to blue, back to green, and every other color in between. But this was gonna be an awesome dive. I've been diving Cape and Ray for a long time, and it was great to catch up with someone else who enjoys diving as well. And Holly, this was her first time, and when she comes into the plane, she got a little bit of a shock. Oh. You're gonna hear her going, oh, she's on camera today. And I was laughing as well, because someone has put a mannequin in there with some kinky boots on the mannequin. No idea what someone's doing. People always like to have fun at this dive site especially at the back end of the gnome garden when the gnomes are always up to mischief. And as you can see, here I come through the wreck of the airplane. They sunk the plane a long time ago and they cleared it all out. So they removed all the wiring, all the seats and made it diver friendly. If I'm correct, if I remember, it was Northern Diver that sponsored this in sinking it. And you can see Holly is waving away, all happy, inside the airplane. Give some awesome shots when you come out. But this is going to make you laugh in a minute. You're going to see a bit of a behind scenes of how I shot this from Andy, the UK diver's point of view. Ever the professional, Mark comes out sideways and backwards from the plane to get that shot of Holly exiting in all her glory, doing like a L'Oreal moment with the hair out the back. Beautiful. As Andy said, always a professional. Swimming out backwards and filming at the same time to catch a shot of Holly coming out the plane. It's always quite cool to see it from a different perspective and because the visibility was so bad when we headed towards as Andy said, the shipping container, which is now like a sponge or even like cheese, Swiss cheese, you can see how it's starting to disintegrate. And you could barely see Andy or Holly up front from where I was. Luckily, Holly had her white tech fins on, her Apex RK3s, brand new. As you guys know, she had issues on her first dive in Scotland in a dry suit with her Maris Extreme, and she went and bought some RK3s, which sorted her out. But Andy was on point on this dive. Now, from all the markers, there's compass bearings to hit the next area, the next item you want to see. Maybe it's a ship, maybe it's one of the planes, or the Cessna, or the helicopters. There's always a point to find it, and Andy was on it. Because he dives it so often, he knew exactly where everything was. Now, Alan, Ian and Chris, my mates, had a habit of always getting lost and missing the Cessna. So it was a running joke with them that they miss the Cessna all the time. But as we're coming through, you can see someone has an alien sitting on top of the plane. I don't know, smoking something. I don't want to say anything in case I get hit blocked, but you can see he's sitting there smoking something on the plane, having a good time, chilling out, relaxing. And look at the way this GoPro changes color. It goes blue to green, back to blue, 
It was struggling so much with the cold water fluctuations on this dive. It was cold, but I did laugh how often looking through this footage, it kept changing color. We're back to green. I bet we're gonna be blue in a minute. And there you go, we're back to blue. Has anyone had this experience of the GoPro struggling with its colors on cold water dives or even just on normal dives? It's quite interesting seeing how it was constantly changing. As you can see even here, a green tint is now starting to appear. Now this was shot on the GoPro Hero 9, but this is the Potsdam wreck. It's another wreck that they've sunk. So Cape and Ray is a quarry. To a lot of our American followers, it's very similar to like Dutch Springs in Pennsylvania where it's a big freshwater quarry and they've sunk artificial um, items, planes, helicopters, boats to entertain the divers as attractions throughout the dive site. I mean, there's even Thunderbird vehicles in this quarry as well. There's so much to see, there's so much scattered around and I believe they even have more stuff coming in the works to be sunk. And as you can see here, I'm trying to say uh, five degrees Celsius. Let me redo that, my hands are so cold five degrees Celsius. Yep, it's cold and my dry suit is leaking. It's a brand new Skill Pro Everdry 4, but they've changed the sizings on it. I used to be a medium broad, apparently now I'm in 2XL. I was shocked at that and it was leaking because it was too big for me. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out and exploring Cape and Ray with us, with UK Diver and Andy, you're awesome. It was an utter pleasure to dive with you. And I look forward to catching up with you at the Go Dive Show. But as guys, as always, stay to the end as we're just finishing up our safety stop to learn more about Andy's channel as he tells us in the outro. You definitely want to miss out and learn about his channel. So as always guys, thank you so much and stay to the end. My next two's giving up. <laughs> Ridiculously cheap. Because we got some new t-shirts just made up just for ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Well, so from, right? from Spreadshirt. Yeah, that hoodie was what, from Spreadshirts. Right. They do good stuff because you can get different colours, you know, because yeah, like, yeah. Um, I did that at Spring Store, but they only like one colour, two colours max. Right. So I tried the other one and it was, uh, they were nice, but they came out like 50, 50 right. bucks. <laughs> they came out about 50 bucks or something, a hoodie, which I was quite a lot. The t-shirts came out like 30 bucks a t-shirt. Okay, perfect. So. All right. So we are back from the 30 degree water here in the Mediterranean. Uh, how did you find your dive? Oh, it was toasty. <laughs> Absolutely toasty. Just messing with you. It was six degrees in this dive today. We went around a couple little airplanes and things like that. But, we have a couple of questions for Andy today. Okay. So, tell us a bit about your channel. Um, okay, well, my channel is all about UK diving, guys. I'm based in the UK and, um, well, with the pandemic, we've been stuck in the UK. So I started it during the pandemic and I basically do it just for something else to do, really. Um, so yeah, we it's basically just following me around. Uh, doing the stuff that I do. Um, a few reviews here and there of stuff that I bought. I don't really get sponsored by anybody, so it's just the kit I bought and I'll tell you whether I like it or not, really. And that's about it. Yeah, just me being a bit of a prat, I guess. Yeah. We nice. love his channel. We're going to link it down below in the little description thing and the thing YouTube people say. <laughs> so you can Up in the corner. That. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one or this one. I'm not sure. One and of them. And then you can press on that and look at that channel too. Yeah, it'd be great to see you over there, guys. Awesome. And exactly, being a former UK diver as well, UK diving is so underrated, but definitely check out Andy's channel and see what real, K you, real UK diving is, because it is actually awesome and really yeah, undervalued. It is, it is Really it, undervalued. Yeah, yes, this Cape Grey video not so great. Yeah. No, <laughs> but he's got videos in the Farn Islands and elsewhere, so definitely go check out his channel. And as always guys, we'll see you next week. And thank you so much, Andy. You're very welcome, out. guys. Good to see you. Awesome. Bye-bye.